Hey guys, it's Alex here, and here is the second part of my slow motion or freeze frame tutorial. And we've, if you haven't seen the first one, I definitely recommend you go watch it because that was all about how to motion track and get to this point. So we can now start to composite our um, video with all the motion tracked freeze frames. So now we've, now I'm going to use the camera tracker one just because it's, um, I think it got a bit of a better track. But obviously, it might have been different for you because, but to be honest, this clip wasn't good because there isn't a lot of contrast areas. But the bougie one was just as good. So, but I'll just use camera tracker for now. So, what we're going to do first of all is we're going to duplicate our clip. Click, let's click Control D. Now it will take longer to duplicate because it's actually got the camera tracker effect on it. So we can just delete that off because we don't need it on two. And what we're going to do is we're going to go. We're going to go to the first point when we want maybe a freeze frame to happen. So I think I want a freeze frame to happen about there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the clip and I'm going to hold shift to snap it, make it snap. And I'm going to right click and go time and then freeze frame. Now I'm going to duplicate this so we can also make one for its shadow, for the um, person's shadow. So the top one we're just going to name person one, and we're just going to re rename the bottom one person one shadow like that. So first of all, we're just going to solo this person one, and we're just going to zoom in. Make sure you got it on full res, and we're just going to get our pen tool, and we're just going to mask around it. Now this cat, I'm just going to go really quite roughly. Now you will obviously want to take your time on this. Oh, uh, so see, this is the hard. This is the thing about um, snowy maps; they all blend in. So we'll just go real quickly round. So obviously, take your time. So that look that will do, and then. If you want, to, and also because the clip's going to be moving behind him, what we can do is we can make another mask in in his arms here and also here, so to get out of the sky. And we're just going to drop down. We're going to click M to drop down all our masks. And the second two masks we're going to want set to, to subtract, so they get away the sky behind. And we're just going to click F, and we're going to select them all. So, but to click the top one, hold Shift, click the bottom one, then make it a feather one. And then we're just going to lock them all. So now, so now if we zoom back out, you will see we've just got this image of him. So now we're going to unsolo it, and then we're going to solo the bottom one, and we're just going to zoom in and then try and get his shadow this time. Um, oh, I keep on pressing space to play. So we're just going to mask around his shadow again, make it precise. Like that, and we're also going to click mask, and we're just going to feather it by one by clicking F, and make it one, and then we're going to lock it. So now, if we were to solo both of these, we've got a shadow and a person. So now, what we now what we want to do is we want to unsolo it, and we're going to want to make these a 3D layer, like that. Now you'll see they'll come out pretty far, so we're just going to want to rescale them back down. Like this, and all it is is just trying to match it up until it looks right with the other one. So I think we can click R for rotation, and we can change some of the Y rotation a bit, just to get till we get the perspective right until it looks like it will match. So as you can see, that is pretty good. So if we if we just use our mount, uh, space bar to pan around, see that looks pretty good. So we can see that's a bit off there. So maybe if we try. It. Let's see if all right so we can change the y rotation even more so i think a bit more around this way and it's just trying to match it up this will take it will take some time but the longer you spend on it the better it will look and that is perfect right there so you can see the shadows matching and also the person is and now because they're in now 3d space with our camera as the clip moves on they stay exactly where they are like that and there you have it. That is pretty much how you do it. 
So I'm going to do a couple more and that, but this is the bait. That is the basics of it all. So I'm saying I'll make another one here. So I'm going to duplicate our bottom clip again. Again, it will take a while because it's got camera tracker on. So we'll just delete it and then we're going to duplicate it again. Come on. All right, there we go. And we'll rename this person to shadow and then person to and we will drag those up above and we are going to solo purse oh sorry now we need to trim them first so we'll just select both of them bring it to that point time uh, freeze frame I don't know whether that one freezed uh, we'll see solo it damn yeah, that one's all right cool so we'll do we'll do the shadow first this time so again pencil or you can click G and we'll make sure your layer is selected otherwise it will create a shape layer so again mask it around and you want well, you can take out these middle bits as well probably won't matter because it'll be against the snow the whole time but it just makes it that a little bit oh, like that. So you mask, click down the mask. We want to make the bottom two subtract. Feather, select them all, make the feather one, and then we're going to lock them all like that. Okay, we can unsolo that. We can solo the person two. So now we're going to mask around the person again. Zoom in again. Oh, God's sake. So make sure the layer is selected. And we're just going to mask around. Obviously, take your time. I'm just doing this very quickly. And I'm only going to do up to these two points, but obviously, do as many as you like. As, it, as it, you saw in the example, I did about six. And you just want to you want to space them out so and so make it look natural. And when there would be a natural point, you don't want them all cluttered together because, well, yeah, I don't know, it depends what you're going to do, do with it. It might look alright, but you never know. So, same again, the bottom one wants to be subtract. Feather, so we're going to set the feather to 1, and then to 1, and then click that. And now, also, what we can do is we can unsolid it, and we're just going to delete the shape there. So what we can do, because we've got that one pretty much lined, the person one lined up before, we can drop down to we only change the position and the Y rotation. So we can just hold P and we can click P, then Shift, then R, so we get up the position rotation. Then if we click on the position, then hold Shift, then oh sorry no, um, I'll click P, then hold Control and then click Y, the Y rotation. We can copy it. And if we select both of our person twos, and then we can paste it, and now you see that is pretty good. See, look at that, and there you go. That's pretty much already lined up. Oh, we didn't even make them a 3D layer, my bad. Um, oh, yeah, we need to scale. We've got, and we just copied the scale as well, so 25%. Select them both, Control V, and now hopefully. They might line up, oh, I'm not on the start, but they should. Now I'm moving the background. Select them both. Oh, sorry guys, selecting the background. Oh, that's why. Sorry, I was clicking on the wrong ones. So now we can just try and position them up, zoom in. And because we copied all the rotation and position, they're already pretty much exact so we can maybe tweak that to be the rotation um see so it's all trial and error maybe about the to the shadow it's a bit off just touch up But obviously, yeah, you play around with this more than me, but that is the basics of it. So then, as you can see, that one's also tracked. So you just keep on doing this all the way through until you end up with something. And also, I 
don't know whether you wanted a tutorial on this so that is literally all for now but in also my uh, ski edit I don't know whether you want a tutorial on this sort of title um, title thing if you just see um, gotta try and find it this sort of title thing here I don't know whether you want a tutorial on that but it, it looks quite nice I thought and the, the text looks nice with the glow and stuff so I, I don't know whether you want a tutorial on that just leave a comment and yeah um, 200 sub uh, remember that my I will be giving a template away that I've worked quite hard on so it should be good and yeah that is all for now so yep yeah, thanks for watching and yeah, see you later